Hey, good morning, Valley. Pastor Dave here on Saturday morning, May 16. It's cloudy, but it's pretty nice outside. And uh, hopefully the rain is going to be holding off a little bit until at least mid-afternoon. Uh, I am getting ready to take my first significant cycling trip of the season. I'm uh, a little bit scared because uh, so far the longest trip this summer has only been about 14 miles. So uh, today I'm going to try to get in more like 40. And uh, anyway, so here I am in the front yard. Uh, I am going to be exploring a little bit. I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that I figured out a way that I can get to the Sakata Trail right from my driveway. So a little bit of through town and then uh, end up over in Waterville, I hope, uh, and then turn around and come home. And so I was thinking about all the twists and turns and winding roads and the unexpected and, and uh, that is laying before me. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but it made me think about uh, my bike ride as a, or my trike ride, it's a trike, uh, as a uh, kind of a metaphor for uh, the days we're in right now as we're trying to navigate through this uh, pandemic, through health, through economics, through how in the world do we do things. So uh, an old hymn was running through my mind this morning. That happens to me quite a bit. Uh, this hymn, if I sang it to you, and maybe I will, uh, but this hymn, uh, just reading the words and hearing the music in my head reminds me of, I can almost smell and hear the acoustics, smell the church basement and hear the acoustics of Old Park Avenue Christian Church in Norfolk, Nebraska, where I think in my earliest memory is where this song comes from. Uh, but listen to these words. And by the way, uh, besides Bible reading, reading a hymnal is pretty good for devotional thought. Uh, this is an old hymn called, All the Way My Savior Leads Me. I think it's pretty relevant for what we're going through right now. Listen to this. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, here by faith in him to dwell. For I know whate'er befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. For I know whate'er befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. Verse 2, all the way my Savior leads me, cheers each winding path I tread, gives me grace for every trial, feeds me with the living bread. Though my weary steps may falter and my soul a thirst may be, gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see gushing from the rock before me. Lo, a spring of joy I see. Uh, this hymn writer definitely had read the Old Testament. I hope those of you who are familiar with the Exodus story uh, know what the hymn writer means when, when uh, he says, uh, well, actually, it's she, it's Fanny Crosby who wrote this. When she says, gushing from the rock before me, that's, a reference to uh, the children of Israel in the wilderness thirsty and uh, God was able to give them the water they needed from a rock and uh, so I would say that that's a tougher situation than most of us are in and uh, we say well how can our needs be met well even if it's water from a rock God can do it well, verse 3. Preachers, they can't even read a hymn without preaching. Here we go. Verse 3. 
All the way my Savior leads me, O oh, the fullness of his love. Perfect rest to me is promised in my Father's house above. When my spirit clothed immortal wings its flight to realms of day, this my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. This my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. It ends with hope. No matter how the road twists and turns, no matter what the obstacles, no matter what the loss or the barriers, a hope that when all is said and done, our song through endless ages will be, Jesus led us, he took care of us, he kept us together, he provided. So, all the way my Savior leads me. Maybe that would be a good hymn to have as the soundtrack for your Saturday. Have a good one, enjoy yourself, be careful, be safe, hope to see a lot of you joining us for worship tomorrow morning at 1030. Let me pray for you. God, help us to be the church. Help us to have a confidence that no matter what we're going through right now, you are leading, you will provide, you will care, you will bring us through. Help us to lean on you and to hold on to each other. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody, be the church. And if you're watching this, pray for an old guy that's out on a bike trail.